This is how to go about determining rate laws. The following initial rate data were obtained for an experiment that's shown below involving NO and H2. We're given some initial rates data. So the rate of the experiment is being taken at a time very early into the reaction where we know the initial NO concentration and the initial H2 concentration. So this rate of change of N2 over T is actually equal to the reaction rate since the coefficient of N2 in the reaction is 1. All right, here's how we go about doing this. In order to get the order of NO, we want to find two experiments where NO changes and H2 is the same. So I think that probably represents experiments 1 and 2. So what I'm going to do is compare experiment 1 and experiment 2. So for experiment 1, I have a concentration of NO of 0.326 and a rate of 0 0.0859. For experiment 2, I have a different concentration of NO. I have 0 0.109 and the rate changes to 0 0.00954. Now, if I can just figure out how the change in NO concentration relates to the change in rate, whether or not N is equal to 1, 2, or 3, I can figure out the order of the experiment. So, I will take 0.326 divided by 0 0.109 and I will get 2.99 to the nth is equal to 0 0.0859 divided by 0 0.0054 which turns out to be 9. Oh, okay. Well, in this case then, n equal 2 because 3 squared is equal to 9. Alright, I have the order of NO2 or NO rather and the order is 2. Now let me do the same thing for the order of H2. In this one, I want to compare, let's see, I want H2 to change and NO to be the same. So I think I have to compare experiments 1 and 3, actually, okay? So, for this, I will take experiment 1 and compare it to experiment 3. So in experiment 1, my H2 is 0.118 and my rate is 0.0859. In experiment 3, my H2 is 0.0295 and my rate is 0.0215. So, let's see, what do we got here? 0.118 divided by 0 0.0295 is 4 to the nth is equal to 0 0.0859 divided by 0 0.0215. Ah, that's also equal to 4. So in this case, n is equal to 1. Okay? So our reaction order with respect to H2 is 1. So now I can write my rate expression, my rate is equal to some rate constant times NO to the second power times H2 to the first power. That is my rate law based on experimental data. The next question asks, what is the value for the reaction constant for these experiments? I can use any one of these experiments to figure this out. I'll just use experiment one. Okay. So, my rate, which is 0 0.0859, is equal to my rate constant, which is what I would like to find, times my NO 0.326 squared times my H2 
to the first power. So let me do some math. And I get that k is equal to 6.85. The last question asks, what are the units of the rate constant? Okay, well to answer that, I need to actually look at the rate law and figure something out. <clears throat> we know that rate is equal to k times NO squared H2. A rate is always in units of molar per second. NO is in units of molar, and that's squared. H2 is in units of molar to the first power. So what we're really being asked is what goes here. Okay? So I know I need seconds on the bottom, because the other side has seconds on the bottom. And then it looks like I also need m squared on the bottom. Okay? And if you look, if I take this um, thing in the parentheses and multiply it through, what am I left with? Molar per second, okay? So my k units are equal to m to the minus 2 seconds to the minus 1. And that's all.